Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Minecraft Unabridged from the Primus server. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff. I've got some plans. I want to get into Botania a bit. But in order to do that, you guys know me. I need a pretty spot. I need a beautiful location to get into Botania. So I think I'm going to build a greenhouse, uh, which is going to be really cool. Unfortunately, in order to build a greenhouse... I need a lot of sand, and that's one thing that I don't have a massive amount of. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a cobble gen going, and uh, it's actually going to be a pretty straightforward cobble gen. Nothing too amazingly overcomplicated. What we'll do is we'll make uh, maybe about a stack of these extra utilities transfer pipes, and then we'll make maybe three. Three world interaction upgrades. I think that should be enough. Uh, let's see if I remember the recipe. There's one, two, and three. There we go. Looks good. And then let's go ahead and we also need to make... Uh, what's it called? Let's see here. A transfer node. Okay. So we need an ender pearl. We need some smooth stone. All right. That should be doable. Do I have any chests sitting in here? No? No chests? Really? Not a single chest. You're kidding me. Okay. Fine. Uh, not, not, unless they're in here. No, they're not. Okay. So let's see. Let's just grab some oak planks. I do need my ender pearl. And then we should be able to go ahead and make these. Oh, I've got some uh, smooth stone smelting up in here, by the way. Uh, let's see. So you and... Oh, hey. Probably should make the chest first, right? Just a thought. There we go. Okay, so you got that going for us. And I should have everything else I need, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's just... Dump a bunch of this stuff off. You can go back in there. You and you can go back in there. You go in there. Uh, is it? Oh, I guess I have to click it with an open hand. There we go. Okay. And glass. Iron ingots. And wood. Staying organized. It's very, very important. Oh! Uh, that, that, that's not what I wanted to do. I need that. There we go. Okay. So, we should have everything we need now. Um, you actually need to go in there, too. Okay. That should be everything we need for a basic cobble gen. However, I also need a place to store these things. So, let's take a look and see what options we have. Um, there is the deep storage unit, but I don't think I can afford that just yet. Yeah, I don't think I can afford that. So I think we'll probably just go the barrel route. Um, let me make a couple of these. There we go. We'll grab some of that. And I'm actually running kind of low on logs, surprisingly. Um, that's okay, though. So we'll make one of you. And then we'll make the barrel. And now let's take a look at upgrades. So let's see. If we want to do three times, that'll use three slots. So, oh, those require pistons? And a barrel. Ugh. That's actually kind of expensive. Um, oh, that's actually pretty easy, though. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can afford this. Let me get this crafted up, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I've got everything I need. I'm going to sleep really quick. A couple other people are... Ooh, seven deaths. Are you making fun? Ha ha ha. Funny, funny.
making fun of me. That's not very nice. That's okay. Yeah, I've got my seven deaths. What can I say? I'm a professional Minecrafter. Anyway, <laughs> ooh, something. I don't know what that was. Any, oh, that's what it was right here. A basalts. Um, which gives me stuff. That's a, a relatively new addition to thermal expansion. It was only added uh, a couple months ago, I think. Um, anyway, so I've got a little spot here all settled out, ready to go for our cobble gen. So we're going to put a bucket of lava there. We're going to put a bucket of water here. And this is pretty much one of the cheapest cobble gens you can do. And then we'll put this here. We'll put our three world interaction upgrades in there, which means it'll start filling up real quick. We'll put a better, a better barrel. Blah, 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 that's hard to say. A better barrel there. Oh, and we'll do that. And then this will start filling up relatively quickly. Then we'll shift right click. Oh, I need to. Oh, okay. So I need to do the previous upgrades first. Okay, let me get those done real quick, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and it is about, oh, I don't know, maybe a minute later. Um, and you can see this thing is already filling up very quickly. So, shift right click with the Mark 1, shift right click with the Mark 2, shift right click with the Mark 3, and then shift right click with the storage, and that gives us a lot larger capacity than what we had previously. So this is gonna start filling up with cobble. Now, I need a way to pulverize that. So there's a couple things I could do. Um, I'm almost tempted to just run this straight up. Uh, let's check journey map. J journey map, no? Uh. There was an update to the mod pack, and I think my uh, my key bindings are conflicting for that. But that looks to be about the right spot. Um, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start uh, working our way upwards. I do have my angel ring, but this is going to take a little while, guys. So I'm going to get this taken care of. And actually, there's my smeltery right there. Wow. Okay. Noted. Um, hmm. Let's put a torch down. I just want to see where we're at. Okay, so we are right under... Okay, that's my smeltery. Which means this should be open space right here. Okay. So that's fairly doable. Um, I'm thinking I want to run it probably this way. So let me get this all hooked up. I'm basically going to bring that up to maybe here, or maybe I'll just put the whole cobble gen um, going right here. Let me get that done, guys. I will be back with you in a little while. All right, guys, I am back. And I think, no, not chisel. There we go. I think I've got a pretty uh, I think I've got it. I think I've got it all figured out. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take you like a so. I'm gonna delete that, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick this up, and that's gonna go pretty much all the way up to my base. Luckily, flight makes this much faster because normally a Jabba barrel slows you down. As you can see, this is all the faster I can move right now, but with flight. I can still fly around at normal speed. And then what I'll do is I'll just stick it right there. And this will start filling up. Um, supposedly, anyway. Oh, there it is. There it goes. So that will fill up um, with cobblestone, which is what we want. And then I'll just go ahead and I can probably remove these. Yeah, we've got our cobblestone here. So, that'll work pretty well, and it's got a lot of space, as you can see, which is awesome. So now, I need a way to pulverize that and turn it into sand. So, I can do a couple things here. I can just grab a few stacks, and I could just put it in here like this, 
and it will pulverize into gravel, which will then end up... Oh, does it pulverize directly into sand? Oh, okay. I thought it went gravel and then sand, but okay. Awesome. So it pulverizes into sand directly with a chance to give you gravel. That's even better. That's fantastic. The other thing that I could do is I could run some sort of machine or the other option, and this might be the best option, would be to just make another pulverizer and put it like right here, for example. Then we can put a world interaction upgrade on it or a, uh, a transfer node like that. And that's kind of our, that'll serve basically as our buffer. And if we put another pulverizer here and have it output to a chest right here or another barrel for that matter, then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to get that done, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. And pulverizer is up and running, and it is outputting gravel, although I just realized that it's outputting gravel, um, which means that it's going to get backed up if this ever fills up. So we are getting sand, I think. 39. Yep, we are getting sand out of this, which is good. But it looks like we're going to need another barrel for gravel. So, how are we going to do that? Well, shouldn't be all that amazingly difficult. Um, basically, what we'll do is we will make another cache, cache, how, however you pronounce that. I can't remember, is it a log? No, yeah, 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 it's a log, not a plank. There we go. We'll make another one of those. We'll put that right there, and we'll put the gravel in it. That way we make sure that it can't accept anything else. And then I'll grab um, a transfer pipe. There we go. And we'll just slide one of those right back here as well. Um, although that's going to present some issues, isn't it? Hmm. Because we can't have it pulling. Oh, man. We can't have that happening. I'm trying to do this in such a way that I don't have to, that I can still hide all of my stuff. And that is the tricky part. Um, actually, you know what? We can do this. There's no reason that you... Oh, yeah, 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 because this is in the wrong spot. Man, let's do this. Oh, I don't think I wanted to hammer that, but whatever. Hide that. Oh, there we go. There, problem solved. Okay, awesome. That was much easier to fix than I thought it was going to be. So we can do that. And then here, we can take those back like so. So now we just need to reconfigure this a little bit uh, to coming out of the right side. Is it coming out of the right side? No, it's not. We want it coming out of the back. So you come out of the back and the left side is accepting stuff. There we go. Beautiful. Now it should start spitting these out. I think. Maybe. Maybe I need... I think I might need a, a transfer node. Let's take a look.
Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Okay, so those are now filling up the way we want. And we can just block that off, and you would never know. You would never know what's going on, which is exactly what we wanted. So, I'm going to call that problem solved. Now I'm going to let a bunch of this sand kind of fill up. And I'm going to get this smelting. And then we can finally start start our greenhouse project for the day. So I'll be right back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. And I've got everything I need, I think, to start this greenhouse. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this today, but we should be able to get at least a pretty good start on it. So I'm going to have a couple different areas that I just kind of want to lay out right now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five... I think that looks about right. We'll have like a little seven area over here. Actually, no. Let's let's actually extend that. Uh, let's just pop that out one more. And like so. So we're basically going to have these pillars. And these are going to mark our areas. So then we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, wait a minute. One, two, three. How many did I put? This is, yeah, that's seven. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one here. Oh, one too many. There we go. And then like that. As you can see, we got a pretty large space to work with here. Um, so we're essentially going to be doing a bunch of nine by nines, but I think that's fine. Let's see. One, two, three, bam. And here we go, four, five, six, seven, and do I want to do that? Or do I want to make that? Nah, hmm. Let's actually extend this one out. So this one will be a little bit different. And we want it there, there, and then here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Like so, right? Oh, right here. So this is going to be kind of the base shape for our giant Botania greenhouse. So it's going to look something like that. And I think that'll work out pretty well, actually. So then we need to, let's raise all of these up to four high, like so. And then we can start worrying about the roof and all that kind of stuff. So let's see here. If we go on the fifth block up like that, that should do. This will also allow us to put a door right here. Oh, how did you not get raised? Oh, right, 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 because we were starting here. There we go. So we're going to have a shape that's essentially like this. I think you guys get the idea. I'm going to get this filled in a bit more, guys, and I will be right back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got this whole thing kind of filled in. You'll notice I also put the cobblestone here, and the reason is because we're going to have all of this be glass and we want to clearly distinguish uh where the grass where the glass is so you kind of need some sort of foundation otherwise it looks like the glass is just kind of growing out of the dirt and that's not really a good look um grass glass is not supposed to be in the dirt it needs to be attached to something else so we're going to do something like that. There we go. Sleep a little bit. And then let's grab some of this glass. And let's go ahead and chisel a good portion of this into panes. Like so. That should be plenty. Now let's take a look and see what options we have for glass panes. We've got streaks but actually the bubble i think the bubble pane would be perfect for a greenhouse let's just take a look oh 
Yeah, that is a perfect greenhouse texture. Okay, so we'll go with the bubbles. Let me just chisel all of this. Now, one of you mentioned in the comments, I think it may have actually been one of the other server members, uh, someone mentioned in the comments that you can just chisel everything at once, but I just, I don't know, maybe it's an old habit or something, but I just prefer to do it this way. Um, however, this can be made a bit easier by doing that. That'll make this go much faster. So I'm going to get all of these walls filled in, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. So, greenhouse, really starting to come along. Now, we do obviously need a door in here. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll put a door, like, right about here or so. And this is kind of a cool trick you can do if we put another set of glass panes like that, it's like the door is open. It's like it, it, it works out really well. It looks like there's a glass door there and that it's open, and I really like the effect that gives. So we've made some pretty good progress, but unfortunately, I think we are pretty much out of time for this episode. Um, the, the preparation, the cobble gen, and all that kind of stuff took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So we'll have to finish this up and get into Botania in the next episode. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.